In a lathe setting, we have the part rotating, the tools feeding in essentially like a boring bar and automatically adjusting to the surface. A process for a T-intersection. Again, the tool is constantly adjusting to this interrupted cut. Then we have the double hemisphere cutter. Same idea, now we have an opposite edge that we need to deburr, but we can come in from one direction to do that. So this would be a cross-type intersection. Proceed further to the opposite edge and interpolate backwards. Now we have this interesting application for the pilot tool we mentioned earlier. Here we can do complex, irregular, uh, three-dimensional elliptical contours on the outside of parts. Same concept, we're interpolating the tool, but that pilot shaft allows us to keep the tool safe and located on the hole so we don't fly away and damage the workpiece or damage the tool. Same tool comes in and deburrs the inside, so you have a one-tool solution for inside-outside deburring. We just come in with a Dremel grinder, rotary grinder, start the tool up, Again, we're only selectively removing material at the intersection edge without making any damage to any other adjacent surfaces. So because of this flexible shank, that allows us to preload the tool against the hole. The protective disc prevents any damage to that wall. And then as the tool approaches the edge, it's going to selectively remove material only at this intersection edge. Now what's beautiful about it is you don't need to program the tool to follow any of these complex contours. You just make a simple helical interpolation path, essentially a thread milling routine. And as the tool reaches these edges, it will decide automatically when to protect when to protect this wall surface, when to cut this edge surface. It's an interruption in the cut that the tool is reacting to. But from a programming standpoint, you only need to tell the tool starting Z-depth, finishing Z-depth, interpolate between those two points.